Hey all, Binx here. Do you like M'Baku? Do you like destroying high evolutionary decks? And do you like delicious, delicious casseroles? Well, then I have a deck for you. Introducing Lockjaw Cerebro 2. This deck is a pretty classic Cerebro 2 deck with some really interesting benefits of adding Lockjaw in. So with Lockjaw, we have a bunch of different opportunities to pull different cards out of our deck dig a little bit deeper and then also be able to get the surprise factor of mbaku jumping out at the end of the game uh, our general game plan is going to be to play down our cards early on turn three we're often going to want to either storm a location or get our mbaku set up then we want to funnel our different powerful two power on reveals through the lockjaw. We can even do things like putting the brood through the lockjaw, which then gives us a full lane and can potentially give us an additional benefit of pulling out something like a scorpion, an iceman, a blue marvel. And then we can even draw that brood again later to get extra benefit from some of these cards. Um, this deck is really, really consistent. It performs very well against High Evolutionary because we have that Luke Cage and for like lockdown style decks, we can get cards out early and then buff them up towards the end. A really, really awesome deck. We had an insane win rate with this. We wanted to get crazy win streak. Uh, we ended up like just under 70% win rate on the stream. Uh, it was super fun. And I think that if you're looking for a deck to climb right now, C2 hasn't been in a better spot in a long time. As always, if you're enjoying this content, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe down below, and you can catch me live either here on YouTube or at twitch.tv slash binks underscore plays. Enjoy. You peace! The lock draw here. Hopefully you draw one drop, then we go one drop in a Cerebro. Maybe you should start playing Cerebro and Cloning Vets, but I don't think we need to just yet. Okay. I wonder if they're going to Juggernaut Cloning Vets again. Who did a bad change of TOS? No, Twitch didn't. We'll go here, here, into Cerebro Brood, probably. I wonder if playing the Umbaku is stronger than the Scorpion, crazily enough. Crazily enough, playing the Mbaku is stronger than playing the Scorpion. Because you kind of like guarantee it to be in the deck. Very okay, rude. It can't really Heimdall here. Um, we can get a blue marvel. If we get blue marvel, then like brood cerebro, or brood cerebro wins middle. Always beats Heimdall. Um, Baku's not gonna jump because it didn't go through the, through, through the lockjaw. They can just juggernaut my brood again though, which is the problem. They don't have another jug, that's a really good point. Okay, very nice. That's a W right there. And the Blarvel. And the Blarvel and the Casserole. Love to see it. Like, we want to keep, like, usually we'd be like, oh, I want to storm sewer system. But now I'm like, I don't want a storm sewer system. I really like, uh... I really like my odds here. 
We can go here. Turn four, Brood, Horg. Turn five, Lockjaw, Sinister. Turn six, uh, Cerebro, whatever else you want. You can't not respond to the YouTube bait. That's uh, true. Chad Wong for sick brood. <laughs> I could add four broods to a location. <laughs> this, this Iron Fist is soul crushing here. Hmm. I actually need a turn to fit in Luke Cage. Maybe I'll just go single Cerebro. We'll be fine. Single Cerebro might be enough. <laughs> Rude would be overkill. I'd rather have overkill than underkill. What happened with their TOS? Uh, Twitch, Twitch made multi-streaming uh, bannable offense. We also have to worry about wave. I don't know thinking about this. We probably won't do the lockjaw thing. Uh just in case of wave. But what we can do in case of wave. Uh we have to we have to expect a Heimdall here, right? We have to make it so they can't just Heimdall. Might as well get Twitch partner now. Um, yeah, we're thinking about it. I, I wanted to wait a week to see if they roll it back or make any changes. Because if like I if I like affiliated, then they're like, oh, just kidding. Then I'd feel it's be fucking annoying as hell. Spider-Man needs a rework there and a good idea of keeping him 4-3 if there's no other lane you can play on the Spider-Man lane. I don't that doesn't make sense. What do you mean? Okay. Nice. Oof. Hmm. Oh. So you have so it like if possible, so like making it like the Jean Grey thing or whatever. I don't know how they're gonna get eight. Yeah, I think we're fine. I don't know how they'll get eighteen middle and left, no matter what they do, and they need to beat eighteen middle and left. Very hard. Gene Cray adjacent. <laughs> so basically, Spider Man would make it so that. Very nice. Yeah, we knew that they weren't going to be able to get 18 in both locations, right? Like, get them getting 18 in one of the locations, definitely possible. Them getting 18 in both locations, nearly impossible. Uh, very good. Another really good Cerebro 2 game. I, I kind of want to throw, like, two rocks in their deck. Right now. I'm going to throw two rocks in their deck. Do you realize Luke Cage's bracelets change colors? Oh, they do. I actually hadn't noticed that either. Um, well, this is bad. Hopefully we'll get enough power here to uh, make this work.
just Cerebro this turn? Yeah, we have to be ready for a Killmonger at the end of the game. Why did I do it in that order? That was so stupid. Oof. Missed our chance to double Cerebro. Uh, just by being bad at the game. Fortunately. Uh, hopefully we get a Blarvel. The Blarvel, if you get two of them, they actually don't affect themselves, which which is weird. Uh, we have to expect a Killmonger this turn. I think, ugh. I think we just get this down. They wave us. We're, we're in kind of a lot of trouble. Double Tooth, double Deadpool, double Killmonger? Well, Carnage, no Skillmonger, huh? Okay. No, I don't know. It's rare on like Noel and, and Hood in the same deck. I guess they could go Noel, Sabertooth, Sabertooth. Is a possibility. I think they just beat 18 middle, right? If they don't have no Lockjaw out the blue marble, it's actually a really good idea. Is it Storm or? Oh! <laughs> Storm or Blue Marble dumpsters them there. Let's go, dude. Oh! Let's go. Get destroyed, dude. You know, you gave me a good idea to use the lockjaw for the blue marble, but but we both forgot what the actual best hit would be. Would be to storm to absolutely decimate them from making that play. I think Hearthstone is still bigger than Marvel Snap. It might be. I'm not sure though. Depends on what metrics you look at. It's very hard to find mobile game metrics. It's nearly impossible actually. Uh, I'm not super confident I'll win middle, so I'm just, I'll just storm it. Um, right. Um, well, we really need Luke Cage now. Battlegrounds is super popular. Hearthstone should be bigger. Like, what are you basing that metric off of? The fact that Crypt gets a lot of viewers? Boom, boom. Okay, getting the Lucas Cage is huge. Next time we can Cerebro and then Brood right. Ah! Oh no! Just kidding. In your face. Plus, if this hits Mystique, it'll actually copy the Cerebro, which is really nice. You compare by Twitch views, but Marvel Snap is a mobile first game, which has always hurt its Twitch analytics by like a crazy amount. Because unlike Hearthstone, you you, you can't just... like you, I'm sure you've seen streams where people just take the... Like you saw a Crypt stream on the Twitch Rivals where he just took the... Took like the little like <laughs> stream and then and then like showed it. Mystique? Oh, Blarvel's great too. Rouge! Hit the Cerebro! I've, I've never said that in my whole life! 
Wait, are we still gonna lose? Oh no! Wait! Abaku! Where are you? There he is! <laughs> Abaku! My boy! Never in my life have I said his rogue hit the Cerebro. <laughs> I, I don't know what would have been worse. I don't know what would have been worse. I, th I don't know what would have been worse. I think the Luke Cage would have been worse. I, I, I don't know which one would have been worse. I think splitting is going to be the best as well. It's it's hard. I mean, it's it's not an easy decision, but I don't. I I've built. I've done so much work. I've done so much work building both these audiences that I think it would just be a shame to. Um, I think they thought that this was going to hit me with the Tillin, but that's not how it works. Fortunately, we didn't get ahead. I'm going to play the Luke Cage now. Oh man, dude, they're beating the snot out of me. I think I needed to play the Luke Cage because no nothing was going to work if I didn't get Luke Cage off, right? Still not ahead, man. I wanted to be ahead before I stormed. Stop putting rocks in my deck. Cheater. You believe Twitch eventually will change its mind about multi-stream new rule? I don't think so. I don't think they have to either. I think that they saw it. Like, I was one of the few people who started the trend and Ninja also jumped on the trend of unpart or not partnering or not taking any money on Twitch to take advantage of this rule. I think most people just don't care. I don't know. It's tough, man. I think they have the luxury to not care, uh, which sucks. But I think that that's just the case, and it affects such a small percentage of streamers that they they just simply don't care. Yeah, mo and and also multi-stream was kind of like knocked under the rug because like so few people do it. Yeah, Ludwig barely even mentioned the multi-streaming thing on the um, the initial one because it's just no one cares about it, which sucks. I mean, I, I don't know, man. It, it really, really sucks, but there's nothing I can do about it. It's the unfortunate thing that you have to, uh, it's the unfortunate thing that you have to understand as someone who bases their entire business off of like p the policies of big sites like this. Four. Yeah, it's not gonna work, my dude. It's not gonna work out for you. Oh wait, chat, we gotta see it! I haven't seen this in so long. Wait for it. <laughs> oh man, I missed that. I I miss no room for Mbaku, man. You can actually usually beat Enchantress with this deck because often you're waiting until turn six to play Cerebro Mystique. The problem is that they Enchantress your blue marble though, yeah. It is it is pretty rough. Uh, I'm ahead here, so we'll go ahead and... Ooh. Oh, we'll just storm left and then we'll uh, Cerebro right to finish the game. Have you ever build a deck with 80 plus percent win rate? I mean, sure, I mean there's plenty of plenty of ways to do so. Ooh, are they playing Cerebro 2 as well? We should be able to beat them then because we get extra Mr. Sinister charges. And we have Scorpion if they don't try their Luke, Lucas Cage. 
Either C2 or Surfer. We should be able to beat Surfer as well. Now that we have this Brood. That's a good point, actually. Uh, Goose is pretty in indicative of Surfer a lot of the time. But we should be able to win left and middle. And they might not expect us to be able to win. I guess they could Juggernaut left. If it lands right, we're in trouble. Ooh, very interesting. This actually gives us more Killmonger triggers. But it's definitely Surfer. We can beat 7 here, right? It actually gives us more Cerebros as well. Very snap. So we're, we're in a great spot. I wonder if we do this. Yeah, we should we should Iceman him, right? Iceman actually is pretty annoying for them. Then the Iceman dies, and then the Brood still makes two. Yeah, we should definitely definitely uh, slot an Iceman here. Snap and thumbs up. I'm not gonna thumbs up. What a weird play. Why would you not do that right? Oh, they they can't right because of Goose. I was going to say, like, playing that right is insanely powerful. Fights man hit Surfer, they can't play. That's very true. They gone and goose this up. Oh, uh, we might, we might be able to, um, might be able to win here. Play Luke too to win right. We won't we won't beat Surfer right if we play Luke. And actually we often don't beat Surfer middle if we, we play Luke. What the hell? What are you thinking, dude? Oh wait, dude, we must have hit the surfer then, right? That must have been a four cost surfer. Let's go. I mean it doesn't matter. It actually could have been better for us if it hadn't. But I will take it, dude. It's actually probably was better. <laughs> Let's go, Umpaku! In your face! My name is Jeff, my name is Jeff, my name is Jeff. I just mean I'm at the top of the category, as I should be, because I'm fing sick. Um, it's a new feature I see a preview of the streams. It's, I mean, it sounds pretty. Um... Here, well, actually, we'll go. Lockjaw into Sinister Age, and then figure it out from there. Featured with that title, yeah. Tell them Twitch to go fuck themselves. And then we'll be. Ooh, I did that in the wrong order. And then what's cool, we can do uh, Blue Marvel into like Storm Brood to finish it, which is pretty strong. We do have to hope to get like a Cerebro here though. Because we're in a bit of trouble without Cerebro. Are they trying to do the Iron Lad Brood thing? They are trying to do the Iron Lad Brood, th brood thing thing. They are indeed trying to do Iron Lad Brood thing. I did get the infinite world record this season, that is true. Many people are talking about this. Is, it is huge news. So we're going to have 16 left, which is pretty powerful. They're not going to expect Storm Brood. They might just fill this with small cards. Storm Brood does get worse. And we have M'Baku jumping out. We have to remember that M'Baku is coming. This is great. Full fill. If I was a Marvel Snap character, which one would I be and why? One that could fly for sure. Vision seems pretty lit. Vision's like super smart. 
uh, basically unkillable. Oh, this is easy GG's here. In my hand. I think we're going half big castle. Oh, now, chat, this would be a half big casserole, but you know who likes a full delicious casserole? My boy Mbaku. In your face. GG's. Good decks aren't fun? That's not true. I think that very powerful decks are often incredibly fun. Uh, and I think that people who play those decks are like have a great time too. I've just always and en always enjoyed um, playing the game a bit differently. Uh, pretty much every game that I've played, I've, I've had that that ideal. I should have probably played the Korg first. The Korg instead of the Mbaku here is better because it gives me less chances of drawing Mbaku. What do I think of the Beast change? Um, I think it's not as bad as people think. I don't think it kills the card. I think that it, um, just play Storm and Sokovia, why not? Uh, it doesn't really matter, but nothing else that I would hit really matters anyway, right? Um, I think that, I think that it, if it went to a 3-3, it would have killed the card, but a 3-4, it, it's still, still quite good. Um, it just lows down bounce decks a little bit, which I think is probably fine. Uh, pretty much every deck had to like, um, KM Best had like really good take about this actually, talking about how like every deck kind of has to have a counter to, um, beating Kitty, which is for a lot of people, wave. Um, this isn't great. We lose to Doom. But they have to play around Cerebro, I think, so I don't know what they can doom. Are they leaving? I lose the Heimdall? Yeah, but it's Cerebro doesn't lose the Heimdall, right? So we have to think about what they have to play around. Cerebro beats Heimdall. Oh, I do have Mbaku. Wait, do I beat Doom? I beat Doom because Mbaku's in the deck, huh? Yeah, let's roll the dice. Yeah, Handelman. We only tie middle, though, so I think we win tiebreaker. With our boy? Easy game. Scorp difference, baby! In a vacuum, what do you think are the strongest cards for each cost? Um, in the one cost spot, I think Nebula is the strongest. I think Nebula is insane value for a one cost. Iceman's close, but I think Nebula is, is crazy how much value you get out of it. In the two cost lot, it might be Scorpion. Might be Jeff. I tend to think, I, I think Scorpion's really good. I think Scorpion's slept on. I don't know. I don't know why more people don't play Scorpion. I guess Scorpion is a little bit worse now that a lot of people are more people are playing Luke Cage. The fact that Luke Cage is slightly stronger now makes Scorpion a bit worse. I think. Um, I think that. I think that Nebula is better than Sunspot ever was. I think the power level of the game has just slightly changed. Zabu? We're talking about in a vacuum here. It's like Zabu needs support cards and Zabu needs good two costs. So I don't, I don't know if I would consider Zabu um, to be what, what the original question was asking. Shawarma? Shawarma? Okay, as long as you draw the reaper, we should be fine here. I think Nebula's would push Lockdown and being so strong. Nebula's crazy, man. I also, I've never played with Jeff, so I don't, I don't have um, full understanding about Jeff. What's 3, 4, and 5? I'm, I'm thinking, man. So you're asking a lot of questions here. 
Three cost, it's tough. There's a lot of valuable, powerful three cost cards. Might be enough. I don't know if it is though. Oh, if it's just Shabba's middle, I think we got him. Because we're going to win left and middle then. Ah! Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, bro. Oh! Oh, no, yes! Yes, Baku! What a champion, dude! Holy... Oh, that might be one of the best ones ever! Oh, I had no idea he was still in the deck! Holy, dude! He fucking, he high-rolled the Apocalypse! I was so mad! I was so mad that he high-rolled the Apocalypse with three cards in his hand! Oh, baby M'Baku! Oh, man! Hey, I'm best. Thank you so much for the raid. You just missed one of the craziest Mbaku wins I've ever had. Holy, dude. Yeah, thank thank you, Nadez Jung. I also hate that uh I also hate that Twitch made that change. Fortunately, I am forced to live with it. Uh I think the send the brood through. What is the Cerebro challenge? You try and play Cerebro like 0 through 10 and get a winning game of each each one while having Cerebro on the board. Okay. Um I guess I could regret that. Hi, Brood. I missed you. I guess this could be bad if they uh, mess with my cards, but I think that this Enchantress... I don't know why they did this. I think they were just trying to fight me in case I had Hazmat. I'm thinking about just going Cerebro Brood, maybe. Oh! <laughs> Fuck you! God damn it, Mbaku, dude! How many times do I draw Mbaku in turn 6? Peace. Let's look at how this shapes up. Because Cerebro Brood, we had 10 right. And 13 right often isn't going to be enough. We add 4 middle, get to 12. Um, You know, we're probably going to deal with a Killmonger, right? So Killmonger is going to kill off this Korg. But actually, I think we have to do Cerebro Rude, or Cerebro Mystique. Because if they kill Monger, they kill the Squirrel, they kill the Korg. And we might even still lose if they... They would go to 11. We would tie them left if they played um, Nova Skillmonger. I think I have to Cerebro Mystique to be Killmonger. Yeah, we would call that so smart and talented, by the way. Thanos snapping emote consider bullying. I think that there is almost no reason to use Thanos snapping emote unless you're uh, using it at someone who is spamming it at you. Those knuckles are beautiful. Yeah, we got it. We got it in the video, man. Don't worry. Watch that one too.